Howdy folks, my name is Oscar and today I'm going to show you how to wax your brand new leather gloves, in this case from Troublesnake. Let's get to it! All Throlesnake leather gloves come with a badass wax tin can. This tin can contains a made in Germany beeswax and spruce oil melange. When mixed, these two ingredients make a very natural product with a super particular smell, being probably the main note, beeswax. You will find other kinds of wax out there containing turpentine or petrol. And this will also do the trick, but they will also leave a not so natural smell in your gloves that will linger with you for quite some time until it fades away. Plus, it's not a real thing. I'll show you today three different ways to apply this wax on your gloves. You can do just one or you can combine all of them. It's up to you. And let's kick it off with the first technique. We'll start by warming up these pit viper gloves a little bit so that they get thirsty and drink the wax slightly better. This is probably the way most people wax their leather goods at home since it's pretty easy and straightforward. We have preheated our pit vipers on the radiator for a couple of minutes. After they feel warm and cozy, we'll get some wax with a piece of cloth and rub it in there, as if there was no tomorrow. Make sure you reach every seam of the leather stitching, especially between the fingers. This process will just take you a minute per glove, and once you're done, you're pretty much ready to go. I'm using nitrile glove, so my hand doesn't smell like beeswax for the rest of the day. For our second gloves, the almighty road roamers, we will be using a different heat source. We're gonna cook them in the oven, but just for 5 minutes at 50 degrees Celsius, around 150 degrees Fahrenheit. And it seems like our road roamer gloves are ready. Let's have a look. For this second technique, I will apply the wax while wearing the gloves. Sneak into them. Get a good finger full of wax and wrap my hands together. Again, remember to reach well for every seam and between your fingers. It looks as if I was plotting a robbery. Which I'm not. Or am I? In this third and last round, we will be pimping the badass wax recipe. Imagine you have already used most of the tin can that comes for free with all Frollesnake gloves, and now you don't have enough for a second wax. Well, 
No Warriors. Let's add a little bit of linseed oil to the mix just by topping up the tin can. Now we stir it well and voila! Your magic concoction is ready. We will use the same technique as before to apply it on our glove of choice. In this case, Throlo Snake's Mamba Negra. And last but not least, you can either wait for the wax to settle in the leather or you can help it inside by applying more heat with a blow dryer this time. Switch it to the highest setting and slowly heat the glove until you see the wax being soaked into the seams. That's about it. You've just upgraded your throttle snake gloves to water resistance. Let's now put them to the test. Hydrophobic to the core. I hope you now have a better idea of how to wax your leather gloves. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. This way, you won't be missing our next motorcycle gear pimping video. Until then, ride safe. Over and out.